regarding this bridge in Baltimore. I'm sure most of you guys have seen it, especially those of you guys based in the States. Absolutely horrible situation where, unfortunately, a cargo ship crashed into a bridge in Baltimore while it was being worked on, I think, around 1 a.m. or something. Luckily, in this circumstances, from what I've been able to read online, allegedly the signal to like say the boat was about to crash and the people inside didn't have the fucking control of it had gone out ahead of time so the police were able to stop traffic um crossing over that bridge because allegedly that bridge is really really um popular it's a four-lane bridge it crosses from one side of baltimore to the other side of baltimore um two different sort of areas socioeconomic as well so you can imagine how fucking busy it is and obviously that port is obviously very busy with baltimore being a port state and shit um so they were able to kind of stop the traffic, but un unfortunately there were people working on the bridge itself. And I think those are the main victims who have kind of suffered from it. So it is still tragic that the workers have lost their lives um, based on that cargo ship losing control or whatever it may be. Or unfortunately, you know, based on some people's conspiracy theories out there, maybe being hacked or something. But this could have been so much worse if this happened during like a rush hour traffic and shit. Can you imagine the amount of kind of casualties we would have? Regardless, still a tragic situation let's read the article here courtesy of the bbc baltimore bridge collapsed six presumed dead after ship collides with the bridge it says six people are missing and presumed dead after a container ship hit the landmark francis scott kelly bridge in the u.s city of baltimore causing it to collapse the coast guard said that it had suspended its search and began a recovery effort the bridge which is more than 2.6 kilometers which is 1.6 miles long that's a fucking long bridge, was destroyed when a vessel hit the support. Officials say the ship suffered a power issue and issued a distress call moments before the crash. Um, boats and helicopters were part of the huge search and the rescue effort searching for a six missing people. Two others were pulled from the water, one with a serious condition. There's one guy allegedly got pulled from the water who didn't want medical attention. He just dusted himself off and went home. But I did read somewhere along the line I did read somewhere along the line, people were saying that you have, in perfect conditions, you have one hour to survive that kind of water and that kind of, that kind of temperature. I think they said it was 47 degrees or something. Someone said you have one hour to survive. If you have the right clothes on, if you fall in a certain direction, if you're a good swimmer, you have an up to an hour to survive. And that's in the perfect conditions. So imagine if it's non-perfect conditions, you're panicking, you've got not got the quote-unquote right clothes on, like, you can die in literal minutes. I didn't know that was the case, like, honestly, like, so fucking sad, man. Um, it continues here. Rear Admiral Shannon um, Gil Gilreef of the US Coast Guard said in the evening that the remaining missing men were presumed dead based on the temperature of the waters that they had fallen into and the length of time that they had been underwater. Authorities say that they were part of the construction crew repairing the potholes times um, on the bridge, snap the time the bridge snapped. The focus is now turning to the investigation into what went wrong with the team of transportation safety experts hoping to board the stick stricken ship and recover its data recorder. Look at that, man. Look at how crazy that looks. Look at that. Look at how crazy that looks. Look at how crazy that looks, that bridge fucking breaking. Let's, actually play, let's, let's see if this video can play. My computer's a bit slow at the moment. Let's see if it can actually play. But that, that bridge fucking falling down is absolutely tragic. So here's a video of it. I think the container ship approaching the bridge itself and it unfortunately fucking crumbling. The only really suspicious thing about it is that the bridge went straight to the supports and didn't hit anywhere else on the bridge. That's the only weird thing about it. Some people, some people are alleging that it just lost. They just lost control of it early on, and they couldn't turn it back on course, which might explain why it kind of ended up the way it ended up. And unfortunately, the whole bridge came tumbling down. And I did feel kind of bad because I did kind of mock some woman for crying. But based on what I've been able to read online. That bridge is a real landmark in that part of Baltimore. People legitimately go out and kind of check it, you know, and basically have a drink in the morning and kind of look out onto it. It's kind of a bit of a landmark and shit. Um, and people are really attached to it. Obviously, it's a bridge that also connects one part of the city to the other part of the city. So you would imagine it is a it is a bridge that kind of, you know, is um, a place where people kind of transport themselves to go to work to and from. So I can't even imagine how people are getting to work nowadays now that a bridge is kind of gone now. Um, it's a really, really tragic situation. And obviously the lives loves is even worse. Um, the Singapore flagged container ship Dali struck a support column of the 47 year old bridge at 1.30 a.m. It had departed the terminal at Port Breeze at four at, um, at 45 minutes past 12. 
for the for Sri Lanka capital of Colombo. U.S. federal government agencies said the vessel lost propulsion as it was leaving the port. The crew had warned Maryland transport officials of the possible collision, um, according to the classif unclassified cybersecurity infrastructure security agency um, report of the incident. Maryland state governor Wes Moore said that he could confirm the crew notified authorities of a power issue, adding that the ship had lost power before smashing into one of the columns. So that was what actually saved a lot of people's lives. The fact that they lost power early Early on and then they were able to communicate that and send a mayday signal is what actually allowed people to survive if not it would have ended tragically a number of vehicles including one of the size of a tractor trailer plunged into the water below baltimore fire department and, and u.s coast guards and other agencies and the state of maryland have been involved in a rescue operation baltimore fire chief james wallace confirmed that two people had been rescued one of them were transported to a local trauma center in a very serious condition. Mr. Wallace said that the tide was posing um, a challenge to the rescue efforts. Local officials said another huge concern of the rescue teams was the freezing conditions of the air temperature of about 3 Celsius, which is 37.4 Fahrenheit near the bridge. Um, Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott described the incident as unthinkable tragedy, adding that the focus right now should be on the people, the lives and the souls and the, the people in the water that had been had to get out and the only thing we should be talking about many transportation secretary paul worthford said engineers were at the site determining the structural impact of the collapse the only other thing that's been quite disgusting to see i'm not gonna lie the other disgusting thing that i really didn't like about the situation was hearing some of the reporters at the press conference grilling the mayor the governor and shit about when they're gonna rebuild the bridge can you imagine how insensitive and disgusting some of these journalists are, right? People have lost their lives. Um, lives have been destroyed because the bridge has been destroyed itself. And the thing that they're worrying about is when the bridge is going to be rebuilt. Like, bruh, like focus on the now. Like, okay, the bridge is gone. Of course, it's a huge sign of kind of, you know, um, it's maybe a huge symbol to the working class out there in Baltimore, maybe to business and corporations and shit. We understand. But in the moment, it's a tragedy. Actually focus on the people who have lost their lives. Focus on the people's lives who have been impacted for the worst going forward, especially considering we're coming out of a fucking pandemic, how tragic that whole situation is. I thought it was absolutely very, what's that thing called? I thought it was very insensitive, um, very ill-timed, very ill full actually, and just downright just disgusting, really, to see journalists, you know, quizzing the governor about when it's going to be rebuilt. Like, fucking no, man. Focus on the people's lives that have been lost, for fuck's sake. Um, continuing on from that one, we got some more um, DCC occurs here at the BBC uh, regarding how the actual bridge itself collapsed. Let's actually read this, or let's actually read this itself. It says, early Tuesday morning, container ship crashed into the landmark Francis Scott Bridge, as obviously, as you guys know, near the US city of Baltimore. What do we know about the bridge? The Baltimore Bridge, known simply as the Key Bridge, was opened in 1977. So it's been open for what, 50 plus years, right? 50, it's been standing for 50 years. It's actually very beautiful. I'm not going to lie. It's actually a really beautiful bridge. That's that's the bridge um, on one episode of The Wire. Obviously, The Wire being based in Baltimore. The actual bridge is fucking beautiful. I'm not going to lie. Like, the images themselves on the other videos themselves don't really, you know, you know, kind of uh, display how actually well-designed it actually looks. But it's actually a very... In, in, it's actually a very interesting marvel of engineering and design itself it's actually very 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 well designed and um, it continues here um the bridge was 1.6 miles long and spanned the uh, patasco was that patapsco river and baltimore harbor the river flows on the cheapskate bay the largest estuary in the u.s wow bro so baltimore is a real bay city in it a lot of money a lot of industry must come in that must explain why Baltimore has such a big drug issue in it? Because that's a there's a port there, so there must be so much drugs coming in through that fucking port. That explains why there's such a big drug issue there. But also, it must be really tragic for people that live in Baltimore because there's so much drugs coming in. There's so much business going through that port, but then there's not a lot of like you know, it's not the most um, affluent city in America either, right? There's a lot of crime, a lot of poverty lot of homelessness and shit that must be really fucking that must be a real mindful for people that live in or live or are from baltimore 
that all this business is around there, but you don't actually see it because it's all fucked up and shit. Police are all fucked up. People are all fucked up. Like, it's really kind of sad. I'm not going to lie. And Francis Scott Bridge da, 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 um, is described as a continuous truss bridge and its main span of one uh, 1,200 um, feet. Uh, video footage um, from the incident appears to show the bridge collapsing um, instantly instantaneously sorry after the container ship hit one of his pillars her <laughs> big up coiler saying bmo is a, is the luton Ra is it is, is luton the size of a major city fucking hell fucking hell fucking hell um how da, da, da. eight people all part of the construction crew were seen on the bridge at the time two of the workers are from guatemala according to the country's consular in maryland what do we know about the ship the Singapore flagged container ship was originally built in Greek, um, ship owner by Ocean Bulk. It is currently operated by the con charter vessel company called Energy Synergy Group, and it's been temporarily leased by a container ship, uh, as a Maserac said the statement. You know what I'm surprised about? I'm not going to like, does this make sense? I was surprised these container ships actually have pilots. I assumed they were all automated because the, you would imagine they run. They run a they run they run a they run a predetermined route from one port to the other port. I was surprised you actually actually needed a actual pilot to kind of steer the fucking boat in the ocean. I actually just assumed it was kind of automated. Obviously, have somebody to kind of make sure you know nothing goes wrong. But I di I didn't know you actually needed somebody to actually pilot one of these kind of um cargo ships. I just assumed it just be like a you know you put in this destination coordinates coordinate you put in the coordinates of where you want to go and just have somebody to kind of you know supervise and make sure nothing goes wrong but you do actually need someone to actually sit there and actually kind of do the whole thing but again i could be wrong it continues the ship set off at the baltimore um seager in marine terminal at 24 minutes past 12 the speed steadily uh, steadily increased and maintained a straight route um, um southeast of the paptico river so there must be some nice properties here, innit, on the bay. Looking out of, of this water, there must be some really nice properties around here in Baltimore. Whether or not you want to live there is another thing, but it must be quite nice. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's go. Uh, around that time, the video shows the lights of the exterior of the ship suddenly went out and the smoke began to emanate from the ship's funnel. Shortly after it hit the bridge, a mayday signal was sent and the ship was approaching the bridge, which gave authorities the time of which the drove in an unclassified memo from the US Hyper Security Infrastructure obtained by the BBC partner says the Delhi had lost propulsion. Absolutely trans situation. Trans situation. But of course, we've got some idiots out there that think it was a conspiracy. Um, one of them being Marjorie Taylor Greene, the obviously the legendary fucking uh, politician out there in the States who I've known. I knew, I know of Marjorie Taylor Taylor Green only from CrossFit because I was into CrossFit super early when CrossFit.com website was still kind of a popping place to be and I forgot the name the founder guy who kind of stepped away recently because of some sexual allegations but Marjorie Taylor Green was a very um, integral part of that early CrossFit community that's why I remember her from so to kind of see her you know then becoming going on to become a congresswoman has been pretty kind of crazy especially when you consider how you know redacted she is but congresswoman um, Marjorie Taylor Green said the following on Twitter there should be a serious investigation to the horrifying tragedy of the francis scott key bridge um, in maryland is it an intentional attack or an accident praying for the victims and of course marjorie taylor green got fucking community noted here on x it says the following baltimore police commissioner um, richard warley said there's absolutely no indication that it was terrorism or that it's any or it was done on purpose governor westmore con confirmed the ship's crew issued a mayday and communication with experiencing a power issue so it's very clear what happened mayday signal was sent because they're experiencing a power issue the mayday signal being sent so early also prevented so many people dying and of course if that's the case then it can't be a terrorist attack because if it's a terrorist attack you're gonna want the most, most casual it was most casualties possible you're probably not gonna send out a mayday signal so of course marjorie taylor green is fucking full of absolute shit absolute shit absolute shit so yeah um r.i.p to those of the people that have been lost um we've got more footage here courtesy of the bbc it says um a father of three among one of the victims so r.i.p this is young gentleman it says here continuing on with the article courtesy of the bbc giving some details on the people that have unfortunately passed on this regard let's wait for it to load up bear with me a second here bada bing bada boom let's actually refresh it then we can go from there um big up young old vibes oh you do crossfit <laughs> yeah yeah unfortunately so unfortunately so um i've been into crossfit from a while i think maybe i got in, i don't know when maybe 2008 2010 super super long ago 
Um, I've always been doing it on and off in here. I was I was part of a box locally in my area, but unfortunately, the prices of CrossFit boxes are crazy. They overcharge just to kind of have some guy shout at you for an hour to fucking get up, get down, get up, get down. It's like you can get fucked. I'll just do the I'll just do the workouts. Um, I find on CrossFit.com in my local gym. I don't need some dude to shout at me and make me feel like I'm in the fucking Marines or something, which I'm obviously not. It's absolutely stupid. But courtesy of the BBC, it says the following: six people, including a father of three, originally from El Salvador, are now presumed dead after the container ship that hit Baltimore's iconic Francis Scott Leap Bridge. Um, all are believed to be members of a crew working on the bridge and are citizens of Latin American countries. That's a really sad thing about a situation. You'd imagine most likely these guys were trying to put in for overtime, right? Working so late at night, or maybe that's the time they actually do have to work. But regardless, let's run with the overtime narrative. Working class people, mostly immigrants, working on the bridge, helping to make the bridge safer by repairing some of the potholes there. And then, you know, a freak accident happens in the dead of night when container ships are passing underneath you know to and from the fucking bridge it fucking crashes into one of the pillars and you end up losing your life absolutely tragic tragic situation man really really tragic situation um we continue here it says local media has reported that six workers were citizens of mexico guatemala honduras el salvador the bbc has not independently confirmed uh, one missing worker from El Salvador was identified as Miguel Luna by the non-profit organization CASA, which provides services of immigrant community in Baltimore. Fuck, man. He is a husband, a father of three, and was called Maryland his home for over 19 years, said CASA executive Gustavo Torres. Uh, Marina Luna, son of Miguel Luna, told Washington Post that he knew his father was on the bridge overnight, but did not know it collapsed until the friends called him and said the bridge is gone. Imagine that. Imagine you know your dad's working on that bridge, you have no idea what happened, and someone and your friend has to call you to let you know that maybe your dad might have died. Fuck, bro. Or you see on social media. Shit. Associated Press reports um, that Honduran man Maynor Yasia Suazo Sandovo is among the missing men. Guatemalan foreign officials, um, foreign affairs ministry confirmed that two of the workers were Guatemalan nationals um, from the region of Petan and Chiqua, was that and Chiquimula, but has not been named yet. That's one of the guys there, right? Miguel Yasia Suavo Sandovo, handsome dude. Hopefully they find these people soon. Hopefully they find people soon and give their family some level of peace, man. Absolutely horrible, horrible, horrible thing to see. Really, really sad and really do hope that there's some conclusion or a good conclusion anyway to come out of this horrible, horrible, horrible situation.